We sometimes fear that karma is keeping count of our misdeeds, and that we will eventually have to pay for them, either in time or eternity. In some way, that will be a harm to ourselves. As well, we may feel there is some fair accountant in the universe, keeping note of all our virtues, for which we will receive something wonderful in return, eventually. We imagine that karma is a matter of what we deserve. The universe is not a bookie, nor a candy machine. Put a misdeed in the slot, get a punishment out of the dispenser, put a virtue in the slot, get a reward out of the dispenser. Make a bet or an investment on a course of life and gamble on the return. Punishment and reward is a very specific, historically developed human worldview. An invented meaning. Most of what we consider virtue is also invented. I haven't talked yet about how humans invest the universe with meaning, but I have mentioned in previous videos that the patterns in the universe are essentially meaningless. Thus, karma is not particularly going to take note of a human worldview invention and play along. I will remind you that karma is not an external authority. Karma emerges as the balance within and between forms and their patterns and processes so that each being that has entered karma has the joy of endlessly unfolding potential without truncating the potential of any other being. You may be under the impression that you cause your karma. It is more accurate to say that karma causes you. Or even more accurately, karma provides a constant invitation to you, an invitation to balance and joy, to which you respond one way or another. Whatever your response, karma recalibrates the balance and the invitation customized to you and to which you may continue to respond. Karma is within every moment. Karma is your constant experience. Karma is not something other than you. You are an expression of karma. Join me again. I'll keep talking about this.